How to set up shipping on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome back in today's video. I'm going to show you how you can set up your own shipping on Shopify. If you're using Shopify for your own store for selling any kind of products, either they are physical or they are online. So mostly the shipping and delivery is important when you're selling your physical products. So let's get into the video. So first of all, what we have here is Shopify.com and this is my shop. I have a full tutorial of how you can open your own shop on Shopify so you can check that out if you don't know how to start with Shopify so after coming here after creating your own store and after uh, basically start uh, signing in into Shopify this must be your home page it might be a little bit different depending on the progress that you have on your shop like here you can see that I don't have any product in my shop right now so if you have you must see your products right here so I have an option to add product you can just click on this option and you can start adding your products into your shop and they will appear in your online store so how you can basically start your shipping on the Shopify so first of all for that purpose you need to go into the settings from this option right here click on that and here you're gonna see a couple of more options you have plan you have billing users and permissions payments checkout and shipping and delivery so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to check into one by one into all of these okay, so here you can see that th these are the shipping now choose where you ship and how much you charge for shipping at checkout so here you can see that this is basically general shipping rates and I have zero products so that's why rates for domestic are different and international shipment is different so I'm just click on manage okay so I don't have any products right now so that's why i'm not seeing any in here in the products to cha charge different rates for only certain products create a new profile in shipping settings if you want to charge different shipping rates depending upon the type of product that you're sending on so you can change your shipping uh type and you know your shipping rates so here you can see that the shopping or the shop shipping origins are in pakistan that i am residing in right now so you can manage your um, warehouse location as well from this option like for example if i click on manage remove rates for shop location or i'm just going to manage shop location remove rates for shop location click on done and you can create and you can basically add in your own custom rates and it won't uh, they won't depend upon the location of the shop that you have so i'm just going to click on cancel right now so here you can see that domestic the domestic the standard shipping is free for the domestic shipment like for example if i'm sending any product in here in the region of pakistan then it is for uh, free for me because it is a domestic shipment if i want to edit the rate i can click on this option which says edit rate and i can add in the rate name is standard if you want to let's have you want for your customers a uh, vip shipment as well or protected shipment for some pieces that require extra protection you can add a different shipping rate for that but for the standard shipping you can see that the price right now is 0 0.00 rupees so i'm just going to add uh you can say 250 or 300 rupees for shipment for the domestic uh for the domestic product so i'm just going to add conditions you can click on add conditions based on item weight or based on order price so based on the item weight is uh better so minimum weight of the product should be one kg and maximum weight should be no limit it's done and so it is based on the item weight one kg product will require price 300 rupees when it is being shipped so click on done so this is how you can add your custom rates depending upon your shop location so here you have your international uh, shipment as well okay so for the international shipment you can see the countries that it's covering is um, uae austria australia belgium canada switzerland uh, germany denmark spain finland france united kingdom hong kong ireland israel italy japan and a lot of these so customers international won't be able to check out because all countries regions are in inactive market to activate go to market okay so that's uh, a step that we're going to cover later but for now here you can see that the rate name is standard the condition is not applied and the price is 5700 pkr so if you want to change that click on add rate and you can set up your own rates or use carrier or app calculators let's say i want to uh set up my own rates my rate is called you can say protected and then i'm going to add protected and the price that i'm going to cost for it is like uh you can say 
6000 pqr click on done so here you can see that the normal uh, standard was 5700 but the protected one is for 6000 pqr because it is it has a lot of more you know because the parcel is being uh, delivered in a very productive manner so you can uh, change the rate for your standard as well by clicking on this option click on edit rate and you can edit this rate they have the shopify has told me that shopify has entered this rate uh, by counting the you know the shop location and the other shipment you know taxes and everything so that's why they have added that rate but you can change that eventually if you want to so there are there must be countries that are not covered in the zone in the international zone so if you want to add your shipping rates for these countries as well you can click on create zone and you can create your own zone for example the zone name is let's say uh anything just go with test or something and then you can search your countries one by one and you can add all of those countries that are not included in the international shipping zone and you can uh, add them into your own uh, custom zone and then you can go on and set shipment for those as well click on like i'm going to click on cancel and now here you can see that add countries regions to our market to start selling and manage localized settings including shipping zones so you can go to markets and you can add countries or regions to market because i haven't set up my payments right now so that's why i can uh, my shipping is not you know uh, active because the payment is not active for these regions so i'm going on into my payment section okay here on to the payment section you can choose a provider providers that enable you to accept payment methods at a rate by set by third party and additional fee will apply to new orders once you select a plan click on choose a provider and you can choose any provider with the most like here you can see that uh it's better if you choose a provider with maximum payment methods like they have me visa master amex discover etc so there these are the ones that are added that are integrated into two check out then you have aiden you have airpay authorized dotnet bambura so i'm just going to click on this one here you can see that to check out and let me see if it's available for me okay so uh, about to check out it is available for me i can use this and these are all the cars that are that work on you know to check out so uh it enables so to set up instructions you can you have to create a to check out account you have to log in and activate your to check out account access the integrations webhooks and api under the api section you have to copy the merchant code and paste it in the merchant code field here you can see that you have a merchant code option and then you have to generate a new ins secret word and paste it into the secret word on this page into the settings in the redirect url section check enable return after sale and after you have added all of these things you can click on test mode and you can enable the test mode for your tool checkout setup or you can activate to checkout and your payment will be added then you'll be able to see which one uh, which uh, countries which countries allow to check out for as their payment method and uh, are these cards integrated in that and then you will see which countries are uh, you know the payment is allowed for which, which countries and then you will see for which the payment is not allowed and they won't be included in your zone so this is how basically all of this works you can set up your shipment it's very easy when you use create a uh, shop on shopify you have to basically fill in all of these formalities you have to fill in all of these details for to effectively run your shop so this was it guys for today's video i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to softwares made easy thank you